Hey, hello. How's it going? Well, really well, thank you. Hello? Yeah, so how hello. are you doing overall? So how are you doing overall? Oh, wonderful. The world is great. Good. That's okay. And let me just be honest yeah, with that's, you. Yeah, that's real good. How's it going? Pretty good. Are you taking medication? No. We've done everything we can do. Well, how does that sound to you? What? When did you acknowledge that you were gay? Uh, never. Are you gay? Are you? Yeah. And I want you I'll to start having a gay relationship. Okay. I called the wrong number then. No. Yeah. And let me just be honest with you. And let me just be honest with you. And I want you to start having a gay relationship. Uh, I'm not interested. I've got a wife and I'm really happy with her. Whatever. That's a load of crap. How are your finances no, going? No, no. Matter of fact, it's the truth. You've taken money from people under fraudulent circumstances across state lines. No, you have, maybe, but I never have. Did it occur to you that you can go to jail? Did it occur to you you can go to jail for doing that? You are breaking the law. You're breaking the law. No. Yes, you are. You're breaking no. the law. No. I know who you are. I know where you are. And it's okay. You can take your frustrations out on us. That's fine. We don't mind. What did you just say? I said, we know who you are. We know where you are. And you can take your frustrations out on us. We don't mind. Let's get real. If we're going to be real, let's be real. I live in America. Is it, it, it's Fred, right? Yes. I mean, you've been Fred. Yes, Fred. I it was Fred. My goodness, how are you doing, Fred? Good. I live in no, America. I heard from you yeah, it's been a long time since we heard from you, Fred. Stephanie, Vincent, okay. Stephanie. What? You, you know you're Stephanie. Fred. You've always been fast. Did you change no. your name? Yes. Because you've been Stephanie. Um, I'm a drunk pimp. Well, are you, are you Stephanie drunk... now instead of Fred? Stephanie. I'm a drunk pimp. Okay. And you let me are. just be honest with you. That's right. Oh, you were yeah. Stephanie before? Yeah. Rogers, Mr. Fred Rogers. That's what he okay. was. Oh, well, you were Fred Rogers at one time. That's no. right. I remember that. Yeah. Where's he now? Where's he now? God, Good. we haven't heard from you in so long. What have you been doing okay. anyway? Really? How come we haven't heard? And let me just be honest with you. I have been for a long time a rotten little bitch. Oh, no. Okay. Are you feeling guilty about that? Yeah. I'm a drunk well, pimp. You don't need to feel guilty about it. It's okay. Really? Um, fair enough? Okay. Well, of course. Hey, you have the right to do what you want to do. That's okay. It's a free country. You know, you're not limited to what you can do. I don't care about that. You want to be Stephanie today, and you can be Stephanie. You want to be gay, you can be gay. Yes. We don't really I live care. In we think that you know, we think you're a, a guy that has some real frustrating times, and and you need some you need some comic relief, and this is how you get it. And you know, we actually enjoy talking to you quite a bit. I live in America. So anyway, were you in the military? Yes. What uh, what part did you go to Vietnam or Korea? Or where did you go? No. Um, I don't know. Did you ever get to go overseas? Yes. What did you think of that? I live in America. I know you live in America, but you've been overseas, haven't you? To other countries? Yes. What did you think of those other countries? Whatever. Well, let me ask you something. Whatever? That's a strange answer for asking a question of what do you thought the other countries were, whatever. Really? um, Whatever is something I would expect to hear from probably a... 10-year-old, maybe a 14-year-old female. I don't know anything. And let me just be honest with you. Am I Uh, here? Well, you always have been. I appreciate your honesty. What are you so angry about? I'm not angry at all. I'm happy. I'm a real happy camper. Good. Well, let me ask you something. Do you go into the store and steal groceries? What we need to ask ourselves is, is why are you so, why are you so angry? Why do you find it necessary to... Uh, take your frustrations out on a phone call. I don't understand um, that at all. I mean, it's okay. Don't we know. don't mind. We enjoy listening to you, and we enjoy your calls. And uh, matter of fact, I have companies here from out of town, and we have it on uh, we have it on speakerphone, and we can all enjoy your company. And I think everyone is enjoying the conversation with you. I hear what you're saying. Yeah. What are you trying to tell me? 
I'm not trying to tell you anything at all. I'm just telling you that we are enjoying our, enjoying this conversation with you, and, and we hadn't heard from you in a long time, and I thought it was kind of, uh, uh, thought something happened to you or something. Are you okay? Yeah. Am I here? Sure. Why haven't we heard from you for weeks? I mean, it's been weeks since we heard from you. What is the problem? Yeah, that's what our question is to you. What is the problem? Why, why haven't we heard from you for weeks? Do you realize that this is a big problem? Well, I can imagine that it is because I haven't heard from you in a long time. And, and it's usually if I don't hear from somebody I'm used to hearing from on a regular basis, there is a big problem in the background going on, something that maybe we can be helpful with. Who knows? Quit being mad at me and just love me again. We do love you. We have never been mad at you. We don't Hold on. People. Hold on. Do you have a drinking problem? No, not at all. I don't drink, period. We have a report that the young man says that you rubbed his chest and his bum. And let me just be honest with you. Well, I, think your I don't believe that's be true at all. Desired. I don't know where you get your reports, but they're apparently quite inaccurate. You know, I didn't just come in on a load of turnips. I know that. I don't believe that's true at all. Okay. You just fell off. You just fall off the. Front. You're telling me you didn't fall off. You just didn't fall off the turnip truck. Is that right? Yeah. Yeah, I understand that. This is an eat what you kill world. If, if you if you don't kill something, you just don't go eat what he killed. That's true. Thinking about getting a penis enlargement. Okay. Uh, that's not necessary. Really? No. You seem to me to be a, a very honest and straightforward individual. Well, I have been in my life, yes. Good. So how are you doing overall? Really well. Extremely well, as a matter of fact. Good. Unfortunately, your days of calling me are very limited. Um, they don't expect me to survive past about, uh, they said, maybe the first of the month sometime. Really? I've had cancer multiple times, and this time I, I can't win. I've won twice before, but I can't win this time. No. No. That's the way it is. Tell me how like that's that a good deal for you. You have to accept things as they are. That's all there is to it. Okay. Do you realize that this is a big problem? Well, it's not a problem for me because this soon will be over. Okay. Really? Yes. Okay. Go and be well. Got to run. Thanks well, for your I call. Understand. I just... I enjoy life, and I've enjoyed life. I've had a good life. I'm 97 years old, and I think I've lived a very good life, and I didn't expect I'd be able to beat cancer again. So That's a load of um, crap. You're a bitch. Okay. And let me just be honest with you. Well, You're a bitch. Yours were. That's a load of crap. Okay. Being honest with me is a load of crap? No. Well, what is a load of crap? I don't understand. I mean, is that what you're wanting to hear? I don't know what I'm going to expect to hear. I just never know what to. I never know what to expect to hear from you. Well, I need sex acts with underage male students. I mean, is that what you're wanting to hear? You did that, huh? Going to have the Mexican mafia kill you? I mean, is that what you're wanting to hear? I don't see how that could possibly happen. I've only got two weeks to live, so it doesn't matter. Peterson, I mean, is that what you're wanting to hear? I'm a man, 58 years old, full figure, divorced. I'm just going to give you my opinion. Do you want my opinion? And let me just be honest with you. Hello? Okay. Kathy, are you there? I'm here. I'm here. I can hear you just fine. You, you can just write me off, and, and you can get mad at me. I, you know, I'm expendable. That's okay. You don't, you don't need me. Thanks for your call. Go and be well. Got to run. I never... I, I've okay. never called you. However, uh, I appreciate the call from you. That's you have okay. A great night, okay. Go forth and enjoy life. Okay. Good. Got to run. All right.